One of the central themes of Kung Fu is about creating your own path. How did you discover your pa- passion for the arts and storytelling? Um, in a rather roundabout and complicated way, because um, um, I, I actually got a Bachelor of Science. And, yeah, and um, I only really discovered acting when I was at uh, Indiana University in Bloomington. And um, I spoke about it actually when I was invited to do a speech for the university's bicentennial uh, celebrations. And basically what it was, was I was just looking for a um, elective class to fill up an early morning slot just so that I would get some afternoons off. And then, and then I discovered acting. I took Acting 101, fell in love with it. Um, when I came back, I got a corporate job. But after work, I would just run off into the theatre, the English language theatre, which was really blossoming at that time in Singapore. And then one thing just led to another. And then when Singapore started casting for its first English language television series, I was asked to go and audition for that. I got that. And then I started acting for television. Uh, And then later on, um, when I was um, 30, I decided, okay, I really love my corporate job. I was balancing between a corporate job and running off into the theater and then started doing some camera acting. And then, you know, when I turned 30, I thought to myself, okay, (laughs) love my job. I could stay in my job for a long time or I could try out this other life and then I decided okay I'll try out this other life for two years but here I am 59 never went back (laughs) Mm, love that story and you know you're one of the the stars of Kung Fu and in the very first scene when we're introduced to your character she's very guarded but you know over the course of that first season we see her peel back those layers and shed that armor as an actress how did you create the space for yourself to dive into that journey um it's you know it begins on the page it begins with the showrunners it begins with the developers, it, begin, it begins with the writers. And um, my, my showrunners, Christina Kim and um, Bob Barons, they're, they're wonderful. And they are constantly um, giving my character so much depth and story and places, such fun places to go. Uh, as an actor um, and and so I would wait with bated breath for the next script and they would be so brave in terms of allowing Meili to really move in terms of story and, and character um, and because they were fearless, I was fearless too, because I felt just really supported. So um, she started off, Meili started off like a pretty stereotypical helicopter parent, wanting to control everything for all her children. Yeah. And by the end of season one, that gets broken down and she discovers so much that she's missing by trying to control everything. And then she relinquishes the control. And once the secret is out, she discovers a sort of um, freedom, Mm -hmm. liberation, and also an acceptance of her own history and her own self. And that actually bridges the distance between herself and her children. Once secrets are out, everybody relaxes. And that's where we see you know, May Lee in season two. She's so much more relaxed. And she's actually taking um, her warrior blood and everything fantastic that that warrior blood gives to her. And she's using it um, in her real life day-to-day job Mm. at the restaurant at Harmony Dumplings. And so Harmony Dumplings, you know, becomes really successful. And that's where we are in season two right now. 
and I'm not going to reveal anything more, but once the writers, once the story developers, the series developers understand in detail where they want a particular character to go, it makes it so easy for the actors to join the dots with these details and then to bring all these stories and to bring all the, all the, the um, plot points that the character has to sit on, you know, together into one unified story arc. You know, we've seen the highs and lows of Mei Li's relationships with her family change throughout the seasons, and each is so unique. What's that collaboration been like working with your fellow actors? Is the process different just given how different each relationship is? The funny thing about this Kung Fu cast, and I think only if you are on set with us will you really believe this, we just get on like a house on fire. Mm -hmm. And from the first day that we met each other, it's always been this feeling of like, let's all hold hands, walk to the edge of the cliff and look at each other and jump off. And that's how every scene, every season, every episode has been for me. I never worry, I have zero anxiety about entering into the scene, whether or not it is comedy or whether or not it is very deep drama with, with tragedy and, and a lot of heartbreak or whether it's just an everyday scene when I'm just cooking. I never have any anxiety because I know no matter who I'm in the scene with, they're, they've just got my back. And I would like to think that they know that they've that I've got their back as well. And so we will just go, whether or not it's a very, you know, emotional scene with Tai Ma, he's like the perfect scene partner. Whatever he, whatever I give, he just accepts, responds, and there's this constant flow of energy. It's not just Tai, with, with all my fellow Kung Fu actors, including some new actors like JB Tadina, whom I share many scenes with, and he's only just come in in season two. We love acting with him. He just he just joins the family, the Kung Fu family so well. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to doing more scenes with fellow Kung Fu castmates like Yvonne Chapman and Vanessa Kai, whom I've grown so close to, love so much, but we have very few scenes together in season one and season two. I'm really hoping that in season three, which has now been confirmed, that uh, we will have many opportunities to explore, you know, those <laughs> relationships. Okay. Your character has so many standout moments within this series. There's points where she's breaking her heart, discovering the secrets about her family, or revealing the secrets of her family. And then there's like these really quirky one-liners that she has <laughs> with her kids. Yeah. Um, for, you, for you as an actress, is what's more challenging, comedy or, or drama? I would say the short answer is comedy because perhaps it doesn't, um, I, I think at heart, I'm a dramatic act actor. However, I love to do comedy. And I like to think I'm kind of like a funny person. But what makes the comedy in Kung Fu um, sit very easily with me is that it's not laugh at me. It's laugh with me. And mm. it's all situational. And it's all based on reality. It's based on how mothers who know so much about their kids, tease their kids all the time because mothers have got insider information and mothers just, you can't, kids can't run away from their mothers. We've seen you in your diapers. We've seen you, we've cleaned up your shit in more ways than one. 
Um, and a lot of the comedy comes from that. Mothers just know how to embarrass their children. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And then the comedy between me and um, you know, the Sebastian character, I think that comes from the sort of comedy that many people in real life display when they take their work really seriously. <laughs> you know, when they when they take themselves very seriously and then they catch themselves taking themselves very seriously and then everybody has a good laugh. So all of the comedy moments are actually rooted in um, reality and ultimately that is drama except that it's a drama that we can all laugh at so yeah yeah great answer and you know one of the reasons why I think the show has resonated with audiences is its ability to tackle really timely and relevant themes and there's so many standout moments that will stay with audiences after the episode has aired what has been your favorite scene from either season one or season two I would say that my favorite scenes are um, a lot of my favorite scenes are with um, my screen husband, Taima. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I, I, I love exploring heartbreak. And I love exploring themes about parenting. And he and I were written a lot of scenes um, to explore those themes. And a lot of these scenes were very beautifully written. Um, until today, there is a scene of me in front of the fridge. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I think it was in episode three in season one. And I, I love that scene because it was about, it was a husband who loves his wife very much, but is gently um, highlighting a flaw in her character in an intimate way that only a husband can do. And uh, I love that scene. In season two, um, no spoilers, but there are some scenes in later episodes that um, I so enjoyed uh, doing. And, um, and those scenes, you'll have to wait <laughs> until that episode comes out. <laughs> It'll be in episode 10, I think. <laughs> mm. That's a good teaser. And you know, something I love about your character, she says, she says that the heart of every Asian family is in the kitchen. And you've said in previous interviews that your love language is cooking and feeding people. And we've spoken to a couple of your cast members who all rave about your get togethers. What's been your favorite <laughs> meal to cook for the cast? It's funny, my favorite meal that I've had with the cast, I didn't really cook because I. <laughs> I introduced this sort of, you know, Chinese New Year salad, um, which here in Singapore and in Malaysia, we eat during Chinese New Year. And for good luck, um, there is a um, way of eating this salad, uh, which is crazy. You, we all um, have to toss the salad as high as possible, um, you know, the higher you toss the salad, the more good luck it is. And I introduced this salad to the cast and they're really, really into it. <laughs> so in season one, we had a hilarious video where we all like made such a mess in my home. And then in season two, we, you know, we revisited the tradition and now everybody knew it and everybody went crazy and by <laughs> the time, you know, we finished tossing and shouting good luck, like, you know, sentences uh, and walked away. And we and I, when I looked at the dining table, it really looked like some babies <laughs> had sat in the middle of the, you know, this salad bowl and just like tossed salad all over the place. And we've got these amazing videos to 
to um, archive this um, Chinese New Year salad toss, I intend to keep this salad toss tradition every Chinese New Year that we're all together. So season three is going to, season three, we're going to have another one. <laughs> You and the cast are in such a unique position where you get to see the fan response in real time through social media and fans have expressed how much the series has meant to them and made them feel seen. What has that experience been like for you seeing the support from all the fans? My response is one of deep, deep gratitude um, and joy because you know, Kung Fu comes on the CW and the CW is very well known for, um, you know, really good young adult um, uh, television series. And um, I played the mom. And when I first began Kung Fu, I thought to myself when I was reading the scripts, wow, people are gonna love this. And yes, you know, um, the mom character is important. But um, what people are really going to be compelled towards will be um, all the stories about the action and the stories about the kids. And while that is true, that is absolutely true, it has been very joyous for me um, that the family stories, um, the parents um, and the themes which include the parents um, are also often um, talked about uh, in social media. Uh, the whole theme about, you know, how this family supports each other, how the parents um, help the kids and the kids help the parents and how we are more powerful as a family. Um, I, I think when I, when I read um, response about that, it is surprising, but it is also something that I feel is very relevant for our world today. Um, it certainly is what I believe in. I believe that we are more powerful when we work together as a family. And I would like to see more of that uh, in Kung Fu. And I believe there will be more of that. Uh, sure. Kung Fu has already been picked up for a third season. Like you say, congratulations, by the way. Thank Where you. do you want to see Mei Li's storyline head in the future? So there's something else that you would love to explore with her. Well, this is an easy answer because I think I've been thinking about it ever since um, season three was uh, confirmed. One, I've already mentioned, I would love to work more with cast members uh, like uh, Yvonne Chapman and um, Vanessa Kai, whom I've grown to love deeply as people, but um, and, and whose work I deeply respect. But in season one and season two, I have not had much opportunity to act with. That's one. Two, I would like to see Meili um, have a deeper understanding of her warrior blood and maybe find a new and more profound way to not just accept it, but to use, um, to use it in a way that um, is outside of her own life, you know? Um, yeah, because right now I would say her life is pretty much um, ensconced in Harmony Dumplings and with her family, mm. but, um, I would like to see her use her warrior blood um, in circles outside of that uh, in season three. And finally, I would like to see um, storylines that unify different minority groups um, in the United States. Right now, we have been talking a lot about, you know, the Asian Americans um, and specifically, um, let's say Chinese American, which is, the Kung Fu family, but I would love to explore other communities like um, the Filipino community uh, in the United States and how do these different groups relate to each other? How can we work together? How can we help each other? Um, many different Asian 
American groups also demonstrate different um, martial arts forms? Um, do we see a little bit more of that um, rather than to just uh, always demonstrate uh, the beautiful Shaolin uh, martial arts? Um, here in Singapore, where I am in the heart of Asia, I am constantly exposed to all sorts of different Asian martial arts and they are all exquisite and they are all beautiful, beautiful art forms. Um, I'd love to see more of that on, on Kung Fu.